probably heard the warnings that texting while driving can make you as impaired as drinking and driving. One Florida high school is hoping to get that message through loud and clear to all of its students by putting them behind the wheel with cell phones. Put teenagers behind the wheel of any vehicle and there are bound to be distractions. But at a high school in Winter Haven, teachers aim to make a very specific point about one distraction in particular, texting while driving. I want you to be texting and driving. Putting kids in golf carts, they drove a cone course once at full attention, then a second time while texting on their cell phones. The results? worse in some cases than even students expected. I would have killed one, two, three, and this guy is definitely dead. It was really hard. I really don't text when I drive. Um, it was really hard, and when I knocked down the cone, I got kind of emotional because I knew it could have been somebody's life that I took. Instructor Ronnie Durwalker coordinated the effort with police and says even though this is often a tough age to get through to, she's hopeful the message is clear. I really am hoping that they see when they run over a cone, we say, you just hit a pedestrian. You know, if they go off course, you're, you're in a ditch, you know, so that they hopefully will get a, an idea that they really could happen to them. It's hard to say if an exercise like this will prevent future texting and driving, but teachers say they have to at least drive home the point. Oh, man, you just killed somebody. You went off the road now. And according to a National Safety Council study, 28 percent of car crashes happen when someone is talking on a cell phone or texting while driving. Six, eight.